Langston, who is in Depends. containment. So we either go to security. I think we go to the Panopticon. And, work and then work our way back. It's easier. Mm, okay. Tell him we caught the things. I wrangled yeah. you some weird shit. Yep, yeah, put it all to bed. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. It's a spinny roundy drill. Ah, that's a spiral. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Get it? <laughs> 69. Dick. You're a dick. I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69, sir. But you just said it. Come on, you guys. It's funny. Uh. Hmm. I found all those missing altered items. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing oh, from no. the pen. Oh, there we go. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really, just super. Flamingo, mannequin, and rubber duck. Bloody Research, hell. protective studies, containment, prime candidate program, containment, sealed threshold, corridor. Ah, oh, you're a dick. Well, I'll see you later. One Langston. of them we can't get to. We can't be get here. to the prime candidate like program. Always. That's locked. Maybe he'll give us a key. No, we have to. That's right. Abilities. I have three ability points. We are working on. You were that, so we need eight. So long time. Sometimes we don't lose them. Right, where do we want to go? Sealed threshold corridor. Sealed threshold corridor. Out of that bit. We've got to come out. Containment panopticon. Right, sealed threshold corridor, which is. Uh, damn it. Uh, we haven't got a fast travel to that. Oh, yeah, we have bottom. There. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's all symbols. It's all symbols to me. Right. So what is in the sealed trash? We are looking for a flamingo. All oh, right. We've read about the flamingo. We have. So we've got to find it. Oh, there's a clock there as well. Yeah, there's going to be clocks here. Um, oh, where was the flamingo? It's not in that one then. Case files. Flamingo, 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 flamingo. Uh, plastic, plastic pink flamingo. Uh, yeah. I can't see. Light switch. We definitely read about a flamingo. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, it is. Somewhere in here. Up there. Containment. Sealed threshold corridor. Yeah, it's up there. We're in the sealed threshold corridor. Oh, fuck. It's me. Double. It's here. So, where is here in relation to here? Where are you? We can't get the mannequin because we can't get to the prime candidate program. Not yet. It's not there. Oh, I think we might have found it. Yeah, it's looking pink and glowy. I didn't know it was looking pink, but... There it is. Behind the door. Oh, this is a fucking trap. Gotta be in it. Whoa! That's got to be an altered item. No oh, shit, shit. Oh, oh fuck! <sighs> oh god! <sighs> oh no! It's going back every time. 
time, aren't you? Why is that? How's that working? Ah. Oh, damn it! <laughs> My eyes. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Flamingo. Oh. So you've not got to touch the floor then, basically. Yeah, but we can't. It's not the floor, it's the ripples. Right now. Ah! Oh. I was trying to... Right. No, see, I'm trying to grab that and it's grabbing other stuff. I wasn't... That one hurt, yeah, but unfortunately I come back up now and start back in the floor. There we go. Wow. Yeah, we were always going to die there. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't expecting Captain Happy and his um, gangly legs. What's his name? So Former. Former, yeah. Oh, oh you fucking dick! Well, See, that's why I... That's... You should give me a checkpoint. You should give me a checkpoint as I approach the... The... Oh, the, what I the fight. Yeah. Is this even the right way? No, this is the wrong way, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. See, I've gone the wrong way. This is why, when your game is this difficult to navigate, you should give me a check. Like, oh, you're going into a boss fight with Bormer. Best give you a checkpoint. Oh, fucking. Uh. Navigate the oldest house, which is a bit hard. <clears throat> right, map. It is here. No, because we definitely ran past. Yeah, yeah, yeah we ran okay. past that bit. So, right now we know. There it is. Close the door, and that's it. I mean, you got to do that bit again. That's got to be an altered item. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, I 
don't like this because it hurts my eyes. It hurts my eyes, oh, wow. And then it's, it's frustrating. This thing again. Doesn't matter, it only has to hit us once. We've got into another altered item. What does this thing want? Is it not even blue? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, straight through the floor. And then we have to go all the way back and you go through do the that corridor stupid again. Stupid corridor. But that's that's not how you do this. You give you you give me the checkpoint. <sighs> you give me the checkpoint at the start of the fight. Is this right? Yes. Yes. Don't make me do this again. This is cool once. It's not called when you have to do it multiple times. Because this, I'm waiting That's this. got to be an altered item. <sighs> oh. Right. Don't want to fight former, he's a dick. Langston never said I'd this be fighting former. Yes. This is where the checkpoint should be. This is literally where the checkpoint should be. You got into another altered item. What does this thing want? Is it fighting the bull? Oh, why didn't you grab it? Why didn't you grab the thing? Game design. Look, I'm still falling because you just I'm clipping through the floor. Oh, don't make me go through the corridor. Just put the just put the checkpoint right before former appears. There's no need. Oh, see, now I'm like, oh, where is it? It's over here. It's over here. I know it's over here. I shouldn't have to do this again, though. Shouldn't have to do that corridor again. Because that's a pain in the arse. I still can't get quite that's get out of how you're doing it. Don't touch the floor. That's here. Yeah. The floor is rippling. Don't touch the floor. I don't want to do this multiple times. Really enjoying this. No, don't grab it. Just jump up in front of it. Fuck the cunt. Yeah. No. That there is a big rotating thing. That's all it is. Don't touch the floor on the bits that rotate. Stupid. Fine. Utterly cool the first time you do it. Yeah, that's great. It, the, the flamingo rotates things. Cool. This? No. no this thing again. Yeah, this thing again. Come on. You got into another altered 
item. What does this thing want? Is it fighting the board? when you put red on the screen. <laughs> I can't do it, Bob. I literally can't see when they put that jam on the screen. It's the fucking barn fight from Evil Within again. I can't see. We know he destroys the floor. Yeah. I can't see where the floor is. Every time I have to redo it. No, that's the wrong way. Is it? Is it the wrong way? No, this uh, is... No, it's the right way. Right way. Oh, it's so right stupid. Way. Why? He's a really cool rotate. fight. Why does he have to fucking make me do this? Now he's not a cool fight. That's got to be an altered item. Yeah, it is. No. Okay, so you've got to get it up high enough so that you're going to go down the middle. Stupid fucking fight. This whole episode. This is like the anchor all over again. Really cool idea, and then stupid fucking captain breaks the floor. This thing again. Yes, but we're in a smaller arena. Isn't it unique? Yeah. You got into another altered item. <laughs> you need to get as many of those balls that you fired at you back at him. He's fighting the board? Yeah, what does the damage? Fuck's sake, why aren't you targeting them? Never allowed to play souls with me, ever. <laughs> I never did like flamingos. <sighs> Too. Too pink. Pink flamingo procedures. Uh, no unique pr procedure required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. Description altered effect. Plastic pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. The item is suspected to promote. Oh, to promote. To influence. Uh, it's a red phenomena and physics and said promote. Influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. Appendix. New altered effect has been observed. See file AI46. Doit. Point D for details. You can tell I'm fucking pink. thrown off. You are. Jesse doesn't pink. like pink. I don't like pink. 
fucking flamingo oh, cut. Right. So that's that one oh, done. We've got Containment Prime Cam program. We can't do that. We can't do Containment Prime Candidate program. Can't get in there. We've not unlocked. That's the door that we're trying to get through. But we have to continue the plot. Oh, Just get on the side. Boy. points. We want a lot more than three. We want eight. You want eight, but take the three. Huh? What do you do with three? I'm not going to know, because we'll still have to get eight, so we might as well just... Right. So. No extra bits on the floor other than the license. The mannequin and the rubber duck. Containment Prime Candidate Program we cannot get to. Research Protective Studies we can get to. Because we can't get to the Prime Pack Candidate Program because it's locked to us. So Research Protective Studies is on the other... Oh, it's there. Okay. So we go through the ritual dungeon. We still don't know about the ashtray maze. No one's told us how to do that. No, he gives you a pass to get through that one. He said he gives you a pass to get through that one. No, he didn't say he gives you a pass. He said he had a code. Yeah. There's no way for us to get through it without the code. No. What are we looking for? Protective studies. The rubber duck. A big rubber duck. Or a little rubber duck. I don't. I don't know. We can look at the case file. Rubber duck. Uh, daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck. According to Agent Redacted, it was the child's imagination. Agent Redacted was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item. Yeah. It was hiding in his daughter's closet, so it's going to be hiding here somewhere. So it's a little one as well. Altered item number 52A analysis, rubber session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low yeah. voltage electric shock. How do you get in behind there? No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. Right. If I remember correctly, then we tried to get to the rubber duck before. Yeah, we have to go back to Langston. Then to unlock the door. No, because he doesn't do that, does he? That's not how the game works. We tried to. Clog down here as well. What the? 
This is the way to get to the rubber duck. Don't worry about the claw. It is cracking at us. Yeah, it's cracking at us. Please don't be another fight with Bormer. I don't think I could take it. Wait, what? Just drop down. There it is. That's the door to get outside. It's going to be another fight with Bormer. Disappearing ducks. Great. Okay, wait. This concludes session three. We have time to prepare further tests. Oh, it's a quick moving duck. Are you leading me into a trap? Yeah. Shoot it. Disappear when I go near. Ah, oh, you. Oh, I nearly had him. Got right. to be quicker than that. <sighs> Finally, Got him. no more quacking. <laughs> <clears throat> Rubber duck procedures. Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety gloves are required when handling. Description: altered effect. It, item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound ana analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distance with surprising speed. It How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms a redacted of unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them, quacking often. This has led to a researcher named Redacted entering cardiac arrest, though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected to the item's effect. Item on loan to the research <laughs> center for another uh, study. Right. Right. <clears throat> now, we cannot go and get the, the mannequin in the right. prime candidate program. Because we can't get through the door. Because we haven't got access to that. So, we actually have to go and continue the plot. Believe it or not which is speak with Emily. To get the keys to go through the... Uh, Emily is um, central executive. Yep. In the boardroom. Multi-launch is the final launch upgrade. and allows you to throw two or three objects at once, provided you have enough energy. Ooh. That's what we want. Okay. I like it when you do the shield and then throw the shield at them. Yeah, that's really short range. It works. It's my emergency push cue. We want multi launch, which is eight. Eight, and we have three. I'm sure we'll. Uh... Oh. Oh my God! Did she have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall, their CIA spy ship. God. Jukebox token. Put a record. <laughs> Ask Arish about the jukebox token. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... <laughs> well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it. The song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. 
I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Okay. Okay. A little side mission. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. Okay. I have to go. Me no, too. I think actually they're You're not all the new. only one who's busy, you know. I think they're all new. Huh? I think they're all new dialogue. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. That's all new, that is. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... <laughs> Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? Oh, so I say. Rangers. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Alright, thresholds. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. <laughs> okay, and Marshall. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Hmm. Okay. okay. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's just okay. some Don't get you got a, You've got a double job then. Astral constructs, jukebox tokens. Hmm. We can build jukebox tokens. Why? In case you want to go back there, because you didn't get it all done in the first go. What's the word, Faden? The word is... Television proposal. Television show proposal. Based on the success of America Overnight, we'd like to propose the creation of a television series that prevents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularise these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public huh. paranatural events. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences. 
seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction in the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering <laughs> its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. Yeah, I know want? someone who worked for Night Springs. Yeah. Ref, mold growing out of control, mold composition, mold detail, mold variant. What's a mold? Oh, there's a photo of former. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cunt. I don't like former. Nah. I'd like a word with former. him. So, what he's a token the in the box? jukebox. The jukebox. How's it looking out there? Alright, it's looking confusing. He told us where the jukebox was. Yeah, but I wasn't listening. Why haven't we dissected that freak mutation we locked up? Oh, everyone's in the shower, huh? Hiding. Where is the jukebox? <laughs> just over there, but what can I do to help? Tell me where the jukebox is. Hey, I put extra security on your brother. No offense, but that dude is the scariest motherfucker I have ever laid eyes on. Like I said, though. No offense. No. Hmm. What's he on there about? No, he I told have to us. go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Is it in the notes? Uh, no, it, it says it's a token in the jukebox. Hey, watch yourself out. Marshall didn't give me any orders before she left. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory. It's going out. Can open this now. America Overnight results. The America Overnight program has operated successfully for over redacted years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of Redacted and Redacted in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have catalogued and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more redacted results of Night Springs have <laughs> also been catalogued in a separate report referred to as redacted before report. Oh. Crossing over, doesn't it? It's like a construct jukebox token, so I'm not sure why. I don't know where the jukebox is. Ah! Potentially, are you the jukebox? That's the jukebox. That's the jukebox. We have a couple of minutes left. It's sealed. One way in, one way out. I guess we'll put a... Coin Tier in. 1. Challenging expedition that grants rare rewards. Tier 2. Highly challenging expedition that grants prime rewards. Tier 3. Most challenging expedition that grants absolute rewards costs five tokens and gets you a new outfit. Oh. We're not going to be doing this now. Um, we have three jukebox tokens. We'll probably do an expedition with a jukebox token next time, but we only have like a minute left. We've got three. We have three tokens. We picked three tokens up on oh, the table. I thought we only picked one. Well. We picked yeah, <sighs> three. So now we know what the jukebox is and where the jukebox is. Yeah. Where the barriers. It takes us elsewhere. Oh. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April, case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. <coughs> Once we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. So, you go in and you get the length of whatever the song it is. Yeah. 
to run around in the quarry and find shit. He only played one song. Yeah. That's an air resort. Well, uh, that's it for... Tonight. See, we have an outfit, and we only have our gear that we came in yeah. wearing. There's a civvy. But I assume we'll unlock more. We have plenty of missions to do Salvador, now. head of Bureau Security. Yeah. Um, Starting to get a few more side missions coming through. We've still got to speak with Emily, but we've got to sort of Langston out. Can't do that. We can't get the mannequin. Find the six pouches. Pouches. By Irish's old squad mate. So there's six um, his. his corrupted bosses to fight. Yeah. They all have names next to their uh, stats. Yeah. Uh, we need eight. Let's be doing some uh, side quests. <laughs>